North Korea's state media released this video, which appears to show the recent launch of North Korea's Hwasong-18 intercontinental ballistic missile. Japan confirmed it flew for more than an hour, rising to a height of more than six kilometers, achieving North Korea's longest ever missile flight time. The leaders of South Korea and Japan were meeting on the sidelines of the NATO summit in Lithuania when the launch took place on Wednesday. North Korea launched an ICBM again. This is a threat to peace and stability in the region and the world. It's also a provocation and an obvious violation of UN resolutions. The United Nations Security Council has adopted at least nine major sanctions resolutions against North Korea in response to its nuclear and missile activities since 2006. But it hasn't stopped the launches. In fact, the tests are increasing. North Korea's launch of an ICBM threatens the peace and safety of the international community, and we strongly condemn it. North Korea says the Hwasong-18 is a part of what it calls its core nuclear strike force, a warning to the United States and its allies. It's designed to hit the continental United States. It's not designed to hit sort of local targets. It's one of the really big ones, which we've all sort of seen on the internet. And that is always for the Americans, particularly that's, you know, that's, that's particularly a threat. Pyongyang accuses Washington of increasing tensions in the Korean peninsula by deploying submarines and bombers to the region. In reaction to the launch, the U.S. conducted military exercises with its South Korean ally in a show of force. Mike Lappel, Al Jazeera.